Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi again. Today, we are going to discuss how to use the free statistical software called StatKey that is available on the internet to calculate five numbers summary. So without further ado, I will share my screen with you. So this is the free software I was talking about, StatKey. Uh, so if you type in Google StatKey, you will get this information. So you go to this site and then we are going to work with one quantitative variable, okay? So first you access this website of StatKey. The address is on the top. It's log5stat.com forward slash StatKey forward slash. So it is log five, number five, stat.com forward slash stat key, again, forward slash. Okay, so once we get on the site, then we will click on one quantitative variable. Okay. So when we click on one quantitative variable, we get this screen, which shows there is already an existing data on this website. In lieu of this existing data, we have to type our own data. So we will click on this edit data over here, okay? And when we click on edit data, uh, we will get a table which is already existing on the uh, this website. So this is the edit data. And we will highlight this, all of this from top to bottom. And then if we hit enter, everything is gone. Now we will be able to type our own data. So I have selected this data set, ages. And so I first type ages and then the numbers, okay? Okay, so this is my new data. Then I have to get rid of this first column is identify, get rid of this because we have only one column. We do not have two columns. We have only one column but we leave the check mark on data as header now. Our header is ages, okay? And then I click, uh, then I click enter and I get this analysis done, okay? So this shows a dot plot of all the data points that I have in my data set. And then as you can see uh, on the right-hand side, there's a table called summary statistics. So it gives me the uh, statistics, summary size, uh, sorry, sample size, mean, uh, standard deviation, sample standard deviation, that is, it gives me the minimum. So the five number summary, the five numbers are minimum, Q1, median, Q3, and maximum, okay? So those are the five numbers. We can calculate interquartile range from that, which is Q3 minus Q1. Interquartile range means where does the middle 50% of the data fall? That is, what is the range of the middle 50% of the data? Remember, Q1 is 25th percentile and Q3 is 75th percentile. So Q3 minus Q1 is 75 minus 25 is the middle 50% of the data, the range of that, okay? So minimum Q1, median Q3, and maximum is the five numbers summary, okay? So um, that's about it for today. I will be back again with new problem set that we will be discussing. So I hope uh, this is clear to you. If you have any question, please write a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.
please subscribe to my channel because I come back every week with new problems on statistics. Okay. So I'm trying to.